So, uh, I've been hearing a lot about how there's a danger in telling a single story and how that flattens the knowledge of a subject. So tonight I'm going to enlighten you with not one, but four potential futures for co-working, and they are all themed on the Golden Girls. So what is co-working? Co-working happens any time more than one motivated person gathers to work with the intent to create shared value for the benefit of the community. So co-working is a global movement. It's happening um, in several countries all around the world. And co-working is older than you think. It actually started with the Golden Girls around their kitchen table at night. They would solve problems over cheesecake with shoulder pads. <laughs> and then in the right-hand corner, you'll see uh, modern-day co-working. So the real future of co-working is actually quite simple. We will all hop on our electric ponies and ride to work. And then we will take the USB brainstem and plug it into a cloud-based computing device. Awesome. <laughs> okay, right. unicorns. So definitions of the future, a uh, typical definition of the future is events that will happen in a time to come. And my definition of the future is the people who will carry out actions that will impact later events. So if we want to put our heads at the skirt of the future, <laughs> we use scenario planning. So scenario planning is a technique that helps you understand um, what, we know, what we don't know we don't know, which seems really confounding, um, but it actually changes the way that you think. So we decided to do scenario planning at my co-working facility, and we wanted to be in our pajamas like the Golden Girls, but alas, we were in a conference room, and it took us about 300 sticky notes um, to address all of the variables that we thought impact co-working. So we picked two variables, one internal and one external, that we thought had the most impact and the greatest uncertainty. Internal factor is community, broken or tight, and the external factor is the economy, very stable or very unstable. So then you create stories about these four quadrants. And the components of a good story about the future are that it must be relevant, but still challenging, plausible, and they have to have a theme. So naturally, we would pick Golden Girls as our theme. <laughs> so if you remember our 80s sitcom, we have Sophia, Rose, Blanche, and Dorothy, and they will help illuminate the stories about the future of co-working. <laughs> and shoulder pads. <laughs> so our first story is Rose, and she lives in a world of a very stable economy and a very tight-knit mm. community. And people personally redefine the work paradigm, embrace co-working, and understand that when one of their co-workers succeeds, everyone benefits. Mm. The next we have Dorothy. She exists in a very tight community, but a very unstable economy. Um, that's sort of today's co-working. So it's the anti-office space of the future with infinite intellectual resources and a small but mighty community of people weather the economic storm. Next we have Sophia. She's in a very stable economy, but a broken community. This is where it gets scary. So unemployment is in an all-time low, and lacking an engaged leader, the space um, will fill with cubicle walls <laughs> and be really unsavory. And then last we have Blanche. So this is our worst nightmare, a broken community <laughs> and a very unstable economy. So there'll be long lists, lists of regulations for the coworkers, and then people will be engaging in corporate espionage, and their days will be interspersed with quick trips to a broken military-grade coffee maker. <laughs> <laughs> so through scenario planning, we come up with key indicators that we want to pay attention to. Internal indicators that we want to um, focus on is who is a part of the community and staff engagement. External indicators that we want to pay attention to is who is attracted to the community. Who are you? What are your values saying to the outside community? Changes in government, radical shifts in technology and corporations, the ability for freelancers to get health insurance, and gas prices um, on the commute. So, an entity learns if, through its processing of information, the range of its potential behaviors has changed. So there's actually research being done at Colorado State University that tells us that when you engage in scenario planning, your ability to make decisions is altered in a positive way. And so we, what we learned through the process was, over and over again, community over economy, people over desks, and collaboration over competition. Mm. So, Wait. earlier, <laughs> I told you that my definition of the future involves the people who will impact the events of the future. So you are the people who will impact um, events that happen in the future. So whether or not you're in a co-working space now, you own one, or you want to own one, you can be a part of this movement. So please become engaged in our movement by accessing the following resources. You can find most of it through coworking.com, easy to remember. There's also a wiki, a blog, 
a Google group, and an emerging co-working registry. So they're all community-generated content, so I invite you to all become a part of the global movement of co-working. Yeah.